Maybe you're like me. I was always running out of money by the end of the month. Then my friend showed me this really cool way to keep track of my spending. I didn't need anything too complicated or confusing, so the spending tracker has been really fun to use. It's so simple, and yet it can do so much. Now I don't have to ask myself, where does my money go? The first thing I noticed were these green keys, with the expenses that seemed to eat up my money, without me even knowing it. Like fun, dining, personal care, and more. These are the expense categories of flexible spending. In other words, this is where the money goes. Flexible spending means that we buy things that may change from week to week or perhaps day to day. In other words, how often do we really spend money on things like dining out, buying new clothes, going to a ball game or watching a movie? Those can't live without cell phones can get out of hand. And the sodas, lattes and other drinks can just cost more than we know. These are the 12 category keys. Other number one and number two are for you to decide. Maybe you'd like to separate out shoes from clothing or put medical and dental there rather than in personal care. You can make it your own. See these white keys on top of the categories? These are the with what keys. Cash, check, credit and savings. These are the accounts that I spent from. Now look at the round grey keys at the bottom. I think of these as the how much keys. This is really a regular calculator but it is also where I enter how much I spend when shopping or paying a bill. When spending, the three steps are how much? Let's just say I spend $25.50 for a haircut. What for? That's personal care. And with what? Let's say I use cash. Then enter. Let's try that again. Now I'd like to buy my weekly subway ticket. What for? That's transportation. With what? Let's say I use my credit card for $20. Then enter. Now let's say I spend cash. $3.50 for a latte. That's a drink. Then enter. Notice the sequence can vary when entering spending information. Play with it. Keep on spending. Oops, I made a mistake. Here's the replay key. It lets me go back. Now I use the edit key which allows me to re-enter the correct information. Then enter. In tutorial number two, I'll show you how to get your account balances, set up a budget and other financial transactions. It's really fun.